floor profile you did it in class. Uh, if you go from uh, across an ocean floor, you run into some uh, basic seafloor features, some of which we've talked about already. The first one is the gent gently sloping land coming off the continent, which is called the continental shelf. Uh, if you've ever been to uh, Florida in the, on the continental shelf there, on the especially the west coast, I think it drops off about one foot for every mile out there. And also, most of the uh, many of the oil rigs in uh, now on the Gulf of Mexico are on the continental shelf. So this is that gently sloping part here. As you go out into the ocean a little bit more, you run into what's called a continental slope. And this drops off fairly steeply. At the bottom of the continental slope is what's called the abyssal plain. The abyssal plain is the feature list, the deepest part other than the trench of the, uh, of the ocean floor. The uh, volcanic arcs, the volcanic islands, uh, the reefs, the trenches, we, we talked about all these when we talked about subduction boundaries. The continental rise is a little bit gentler sloping upward movement as it gets towards the continental slope. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, take a look at the uh, Google Earth. This is the Atlantic Ocean going from the east coast of the United States here and it runs all the way across just about to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. You can see here the uh, the continental shelf. That's this light blue color here. A lot of good fishing off here. Uh, a lot of deep sea fishing going goes on in here. And you can see the continental slope right here. Pretty uh, evident that the floor drops right off. Right in here is kind of is a uh, is a fan and this is material coming off the continental shelf and flowing down the slope into the uh, continental rise or the abyssal plain. This you can definitely see the see the slope right here. Here's the plain all this featureless area in here uh, between the continental shelf and as you start getting into the mid-Atlantic Ridge right in this area here. Uh, not very many features. It's fairly deep. Uh, we saw this a number of times when we were looking at the material on our Google Earth. As you head uh, east across the Atlantic Ocean, you come across the transform faults. If you remember, these are all perpendicular to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge here. And much of this, these features, re, uh, actually, they're shown again as you go uh, to the east of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So the big ones you really need to know are the the shelf, the slope, and the abyssal plain. And if you go back into the other layer here, again the shelf, the slope, slopes right down, the abyssal plain, very featureless, and then we have the continental rise, a little more gently sloping here. These uh, we've covered already, so not too, uh, too worried that you don't know these. All right, this will do it for this one, and we will talk to you later.